Hi everybody, it's Flex. It's been about a week and I've made a lot of discoveries over the last week. So we'll go over those in a little bit, but first I want to um, make some amends or clear something up, I guess. The people that I worked with at GameStop were some of the best people that I've ever known and it was one of the funnest jobs I ever had, no matter how it ended up. They were, they're great people. They're fun to work with and they do their jobs. I can't say hi enough about how much being around those people probably helped save me to a point. But I just wanted to say that and clear that up. Now on to other things, confessions and such. I did some real soul searching this last week and I really dug into my mind and it was, I'll be honest, it was very painful and it was very hard for me to sleep because I was doing it but the fact of the matter is I came up with a few things first of all I'm ending a 25 year addiction to painkillers I've been addicted to painkillers since about 82 83 and how I never died I don't know but anybody that knows me or has followed me you know that I've had since I was in 82 I had surgery the first time and since then it's been downhill. I've had eight rotator cuff surgeries, two neck surgeries, two nasal surgeries, uh, the shoulders, the, you know everything, it, it just all all the kidney stones and they treated me with opiate painkillers for all that and along the way somewhere I got hooked and it peaked at its worst about the time that my wife and I separated and it got a little worse and then it got much worse and now I'm clean. Yay me. So that was the real confession that I had. I'm sure probably some of you probably figured it out already. I kind of did, but I was, you know, trying to work through it. So that's where we're at with that. Next, I'd like to talk a little bit about where I went in my mind and what I did and how I'm dealing with all this. And what I did was I dug really deep and scraped all this shit out of me and I wrote it down and some of it's really terrible and black and awful. And sometimes you got to do that to purge yourself. And I didn't particularly like doing it, but it had to happen. And if anybody, you know, even if you're not having problems, it's not a bad idea to have a diary or a journal of what goes on each day, just so you know what's happening. And it's like, I started doing it after I had my attempt and it's been working out pretty good because if, in my case, I have memory lapses and I can go back and see what I wrote down. So that's kind of nice and it's been a real tool and an aid for me. So that's worked out pretty good. And, you know, I feel that Certainly, you know, weed helped a lot uh, in this whole process, too. I want to bring that up, you know, that that it helped a lot. It kept me stable sometimes when I went to bed. For those that don't know, I'm bipolar 1. I have ADHD. I have uh, um, anxiety attacks, panic attacks. And so I, I deal with the gamut. And it's like I take antidepressants and lithium for it and that works to a point but you have to have coping skills but marijuana has really helped with my anxiety and my panic attacks and sleep and things like that and my appetite because every you know I mean I don't know who knows this as well if you're a first time watcher I have CML which is a form of chronic leukemia and I take uh, chemo for that every day so I'm nauseous every day and I have to have something to stimulate my appetite. So that's how I do it. It's also good for chronic pain to a point. So I like that. So that's been working really good. So those are some, so those are some of the tools I'm using. I mean, I'm not going to lie. And I, am I self-medicating to a point? Sure. But sometimes you have to if you want to stay alive. And that's the fact of the matter. So Sometimes the re reality is a dream. You know, and you have to keep focused sometimes. You have to have goals. And you certainly have to realize that you have to live for today, 
Okay, tomorrow is tomorrow, but today is here now. And I had a hard time accepting that and realizing that. Every day is fucking precious. You know, I mean, it's like, it's great. Life is fucking beautiful, really. Look around. It's not just being positive thinking, man. It's actions that are positive. It's you know, working on your mental health, working on your physical health, working, you know, all these things come together. So, but that's pretty much where I'm at. I don't want to drag on here. I'm doing much better. I'm not there yet, but I'm definitely healing. And remember this. It, 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 you know, it only takes five days to become addicted to a fucking opiate. And it takes 45 days to get out of the shit. And coming out of it ain't fun. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep shit in perspective. And it's like, you know, you gotta smell your own subjugation, Jack. Because it's only between your tattered libido, the banker, and the funeral director, man. And when you get down to it at the end of the day, tomorrow may never come. You got today, baby. So live for it and enjoy it and be positive and fucking whoop it up, man. Because we're only here for fucking so long and we should have a good time while we're here. And love the ones we love and love them with all our heart, man. Flex out.